Welcome to the simple mode. The UI here shows four independent pressure sources which can control pressures from negative 7 psi to 13 psi. There are four distinct zones on this screen. Zone 1 along the top is the on-off zone. Zone 2 along the middle is the parameter set zone. Zone 3 along the bottom is the real-time monitoring zone. And zone 4 along the right side is the function zone. In the on-off zone, users can toggle the pressure source for each of the four sources as well as toggle on or off individual channels, and the number next to the channel shows the duration of on time. A reminder for the user is that only pressure sources 1 and 3 are capable of providing vacuum. Within the parameter setting zone, the user can make changes to the nature of the pressure source. By pressing the wrench icon, the user can adjust trigger condition settings, pressure settings, air supply source, units of pressure, pressure range, and unit increment. If a flow sensor is connected to the flow sensor port for the source being adjusted, the gray P icon will turn to a blue F icon, and if the user clicks here, they can change flow control parameters. Clicking on the plus minus icons will shift the target set point based on the unit increment which was set using the wrench icon. Press the refresh icon to register the change prior to running the pump. The black square icons allow the user to select between several different pressure wave profiles. The real-time monitoring zone along the bottom shows the user a real-time pressure pointer display as well as the pressure value and air or liquid flow rate. Once parameters have been adjusted to the user's preference, the run button in the top right will start the pump. Click the blue pinwheel icon in the function zone to access the advanced mode screen. Here users can write a specific script which can set pressures for different channels and on and off for valves at different time periods. The yellow icon in the top left will clear away any old scripts. The first row labeled initial step will change the start mode for the script. If you click in the cell under time and then click the blue edit icon, the user can change the runtime as well as set up any loop conditions. Selecting the cell under any of the sources will allow the user to change the pressure parameter settings for that source. The cells under the valves allow the user to enable or disable individual valves. Selecting the digital output cell lets users activate or deactivate a high voltage output. Turning the output on readies it, and turning the state on activates it. The user can also change the output wave profile. The settings icon in the top right allows users to enable individual components to be shown on the advanced mode screen. If the rotary valve box has been selected, the rotary valve operation menu will be available in a new column and will allow users to click on the various ports to choose the position of each valve. The blue folder icon allows users to load older scripts and the green save icon lets users save their current script. The gray circular icon will clear the contents of an individual cell, and the green plus icon lets users add additional rows to the script. The user can either add a fixed time period condition or a stop condition. The red X icon when pressed will delete an entire selected row, and the yellow icon adjacent to it will copy a selected row. After making the script, the user must toggle on the advanced mode slider on the bottom right of the screen prior to running the script. Click the real-time curve icon in the function zone to access the monitoring window. Here users can watch a real-time plot of data, which can be selectively shown or hidden from the source of their choice. The data includes pressure from the source and each valve, 
as well as the air flow rate or liquid flow rate if a flow sensor is connected. Users also have the option to change the units, pause or resume the graph, import saved files, restore all data, reset and clear all data, set different line colors, export data files, and adjust the viewing window. Click on the digital output icon in the function zone to access the digital output page. Here again the digital output can be toggled on or off, and individual outputs can be activated by changing the state. If a wave profile is changed, then the user will also be able to adjust the period and pulse width. Click the rotary valve icon in the function zone to access the rotary valve page. The blue Check Rotary Valve button can be pressed to check and display valve connection. If a valve is connected at this point, the dialog box with the valve settings will show up as blue instead of gray. Users will be able to click on the various ports to choose each valve's position. Click on the Settings icon in the Function Zone to access the System Settings page. Here, users can load, save, import, and export both simple mode and advanced mode data files. By default, simple mode files will be shown on the left. However, if you toggle the advanced mode slider in the bottom right of the screen, advanced mode scripts will be visible. The user can also change the units of pressure, perform software and hardware updates, perform a self-check, which tests to see if any external devices are connected, change the system time, and read the About profile, which can be refreshed via the Check button to see what devices are currently connected.